Good morning, everyone. Every time it's going to say new import keyboard because I got to switch from OBS to here. But we can go talk to Mustache Girl. I'm psyched too. All right, here's the master plan. Need a good plan, or it'll be a flop. All right, this sounds like a good plan. First, we strangle them, choke them, and watch them beg for mercy. A little Let extreme, no, but okay. Wait. Strangling is too kind. Oh, well, all right we then. We smash them together into mush and put their remains in a jar. Then, all right, then. we sell the jar for pocket money. That'll be the ultimate salt in the. I think this is a bit extreme. But first, we have to uh, make it through their mafia HQ. Once we find and dethrone the Mafia boss, the rest will follow. Then our Mush and Jar party will be no problem. I'm not joining your Mush and Jar party, We've that's a bit too extreme. Up. Your hat is basic, and we don't do basic in this game. I have three hats, and John, two of them are not basic. Town and used to stitch new hats if you're crafty. I've collected one for you. Thank you, we already have that hat. But we'll get the yarn anyway. You need more yarn for some hats than others. I guess being creative isn't free. <laughs> so keep an eye out for yarn. Fortunately, we've got the two hats we can now get. Now you're a so. killing machine. Let's go. Let's go get them. I will keep that in mind. Uh, but back to the main hall so we can go after part three. Um, which means we still have this one and maybe one more uh, after that we have to do. And you actually have to spend five pawns to unlock this app. She came from outer space. Mission, recover the final one time trees. Perspiration, the sky seems perspiring. And, well, the, the picture at least tells us what we have to do. We have to scare the guy in the rear rainbow bow tie as an evil monster. Which is understandable. There's the guy with the weird bow tie. And here's where we start. We even bring ourselves a comfy um, raincoat. Now, I personally, I want to get this yarn, but I don't think we can yet. No, not until we get a later power up. Um, I don't even think there's really anything special in this area now that it's raining in it. This town is so big! The attractions are pretty cool. But I'll tell you, kid, nothing, nothing beats, beats going, going to the moon. moon. Alright, nothing beats going to the moon. Uh, there is a new enemy and fight these guys. Who will uh, wake up and try to crush you. But outside of that, I think we're in good shape. I didn't want to be covered in mud because it does affect our movement, I thought. Alright, we're going to have to retry this because we clearly missed a few of them. Is there a way I can just hit this and then wash off? Oh, was this a one-time thing? I thought it reformed after. Interesting. But you can see all the Mafia is afraid of us so long as we are covered in mud. I, I'm going to actually blame the glowing eyes more than mud. Uh, so we have to keep that in mind. Go right up this ladder. Um, yeah, our timepiece is just a little bit higher. And since we can just take the ladders, I'm going to recommend doing that. Um, we kind of went the opposite way of where we were supposed to go to start, but Mafia Town's a big circle, so it's really easy to just um, get back to where we need to go as we go. Uh, for example, this umbrella is going to get us pretty much all the way out there. And there's a treasure chest, which gives us brewing yarn. Not Nothing too, too useful. Whoosh. Um... So Mustache Girl has her own hot air balloon, apparently. In Cod We Trust. Alright, I suppose if they're fishing Mafia, it makes sense. 
I thought we were much closer to where we were going than where we are right now. But once again, it is just a circle, so no big deal. It's just because it's night we got the um, sleeping raccoons. Huge staircase gets us pretty much all the way to the top, and if you hadn't ran into mud up until this point, they didn't. Be, they were nice and gave you mud right here. What the? Huh? What it, the huh? It's slimy space alien. Yes, we are slimy space Mavia alien indeed. Mavia knew all along. Mavia is being invaded by aliens. Sure. Ah! So you can see he is terrified, and. We're the reason why. I got you know. I think I'd be terrified if I saw a uh, hat girl looking like this too. Ooh. Future reference. We got to climb up there at some point. So we can double jump in. Oh, they were nice. If you fall out of the screen, it's gonna just teleport you back up. So we can go all the way over here. I'm just impressed that he just he just climbed straight the side well done. There's a few things you can blow up here. I don't know that they have anything but just more pawns. Alright, I gotta get out of the habit of hitting with my um, left hand and not my right. Because it's so close each time. Yeah, see? Right trigger to jump further. There's a little more we can do as well, um, but I don't know that's going to really worry about it too, too much. And you can jump off this guy's face, and that's supposed to be how we get over there, but I, I guess the camera did not want to behave. I'm at least glad they're not take like we don't take damage each time we miss because um, the, the downside of me playing platformer is uh, I'm not very good at platformers. Okay, seriously, I thought I would have made it that time, but I guess not. Did he just he's just gone? Yeah, we need to go up a layer regardless. So. There, right, we are finally up a layer. And if you hit A while diving, you can cancel. You don't need to for that jump, but it's a nice ability then. We are at a dead end. I don't think he can escape any Leave further. Mafia alone, you monster. Here, if Mafia give you this, will you go away? I'll think about it. I will think about it. And there. That was one of the well, much shorter, like most of Mafia Town ones are pretty short uh, to do. So we've now got our third time piece. I'd want to go more exploring, but there wasn't really much. Like, you have the entire area and every single one to explore. So until we get more ways of exploring, we're, we're pretty stuck on that. Like, for example, until we get um, the next hat, we can't go to a few portions of it. And no in-between cutscene this time, so I'm gonna at least take a look. What is the next one that we have unlocked? Down with the Mafia. I guess let's start the boss. Uh, I'd rather have done this in a separate part, and maybe I still should, but Chapter 1, Act 4, Down with the Mafia. You know what? Yeah, no, this is going to be exploring for the rest of it. We're not actually going to down with the Mafia. Because we need to get all the way up there. So, even starts us right up here where we're supposed to go. I want to take a nice relaxing dip in the pond so we can get rid of this mud. But first, 
What's in this treasure chest? Because I, I didn't know there was a treasure chest. Is it? It's a relic. Alright. And there's the badge seller, should we need him? But there, once you've gone in the water, you lose the um, mud effect on you easily. So, that's what we're going to take advantage of. Well, Mafia Sabotage. So, I take it this is actually Hat Girl, oh, not Hat Girl's, um, Mustache Girl's place. So, we're gonna head over to the Brewing Hat, because there's a lot of things to blow up with it in this area. We've got a lot of pawns we can get here. Um, I don't think we'll be able to get to the 800, though. There is, however, a green Mafia Vault that we now need to track down. Because we just saw at least part of it. And I love the Magnet 1 for situations like that. Because without the Magnet 1, I don't think there's any way you would even get all that at once. You have to go running all around for it. So, well, these as well, get more pawns. Maybe we will be able to hit the 800. I don't know, we don't really need the Mumble Badge, but... Um, it would be nice to, to knock out everything that the merchant has. We can try this again. I know we messed it up, well, I messed it up last time. Like, I can't blame you guys for that. Right. So break it, gotta go to this. Oh, uh, well, we've already severely messed it up again. Like, we didn't even... Had no, can't use it again. What happens if we shoot through here? Because uh, you can see we have to use a cannon up top. So, what if we use this one down here? And it is a shortcut through to the opposite side. Which, I guess we've not been to before because there is some yarn right here. Cook up mad concoctions. Can I talk to these two Mafia? No, they look nice and comfy though. Watching broken TV. I don't know. In any case, we'll go find the green vault next time. I'm, I'm pretty much just jumping around at this point, uh, because apparently there's a, a yarn there. Yeah, let's get the yarn first before we officially end the part, because I want it. So we can climb up over it, and then I guess we're going to take advantage of our... Uh, air jump or whatever, or air jump or maybe our dive. But yeah. Oh. I wish we already ran into the green one so I at least know where it was. Makes me feel like it's probably on that pillar somewhere. Alright, so first, jump once, jump twice. And we got it. We got another sprint. How many yarn do we even have right now? We have seven pieces of yarn on us. So when we find our next hat, if it does follow the 248 situation, which I feel it should, I mean it's going to, but I feel it should, um, we'll at least be able to see uh, the next hat and get it basically immediately. I've not been up in this area before. Another treasure chest, which has a relic of a cow. Oh, and I was gonna say, and it locks me right here. Oh, interesting. Let's go up another level. Or not, I guess we have to climb it. Like, some weirdo. More climbing and more yarn. It gives you a lot of yarn. I guess it's to add as um, optional stuff you can do, but still. 
And this this actually looks like a good place to sit in that bit. So I'm gonna sit here, enjoy the looks with my clearly evil eyes, and I'll see you guys next time. Wow, I explored longer than I thought I was going to. See you then when we go and take down the mafia. <laughs>